What's up guys? Today we are doing a six month review of the Black Progress Jiu Jitsu Gi. Let's get started. Here it is. I've owned this gi for a little over six months now and honestly it's still one of my favorite gis. It's not my most expensive, it's not my nicest looking gi, but it is one of my favorite most reliable gis. Progress makes very very solid gis that are very very affordable. Such a good price compared to any other gi. So I think it's the best bang for your buck especially if you're someone who's just getting into Jiu Jitsu and looking for an affordable gi that also has good quality. This black gi did not shrink very much in the six months that I've had it. It did shrink, you know, the typical two or three washes when you first wash it, it'll shrink a bit. They account for that, but it still fits me great. This is a size A1 gi. I'm 140 pounds, 5.8.9. I'm a Virgo. Uh, my birthday's, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna do three tests on this gi though. The first test is gonna be the drawstring. The first test is going to be the drawstring test. Drawstring test. Draw st the first test is going to be the drawstring test. Mm. That was so hard to say. So basically what that means is that I'm gonna be testing this, the gi pants out in five rolls. In those five rolls, we're gonna count how many times the drawstring comes undone. I have some gi pants that they just constantly just keep coming undone and they're just really annoying. I'm sure you guys experience this as well. So I really do appreciate a drawstring that stays tight. So after extensive testing, the drawstring only came undone two times. All right, for the second test, we're gonna do a grip test. How easy is it for my opponents to grip onto this gi? If you have a big baggy gi, obviously it makes it really easy for your opponents to grip onto this. And this isn't exactly very, very baggy. It's a very standard size for a gi, but you know, they probably are gonna grab it a little bit. Let's check it out. And finally, the final test, test number three, which is gonna be the cross face test. Uh, no. The cross face test is just me testing out a cross face on my partners, and I'm gonna ask them how rough it feels. Some geese are really rough and terrible, um, which could be good for competition if you're trying to be a jerk. For example, the sonable geese are, are known to be very rough, and the, the geese just get ugly, to be honest, like sandpaper. And then there's other geese like the hemp gi that I had, I forgot the brand name, but that hemp gi was very, very soft, very gentle on my partner's face. Thank you, Jason. You're welcome. Hey. Bye, Alan. Thank you. Bye, Alan. <laughs> you can do a better cross face before people start talking shit. <laughs> this technique's bad. Ready, Ash? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the okay. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna start doing more of these videos if this video gets a lot of engagement. That means liking this video, subscribing, leaving comments that you love it, leaving comments that you hate it. You know, if you're gonna buy this gi, let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe I can help you out. I have a white gi that I didn't bring with me today, but I do have a white uh, progress gi that I bought before this. I've had it for a year now. Also a great gi, it shrunk a little bit more. Um, I don't know if they changed anything in the production of the material, but this gi is just, it's better. It's amazing, I love it. A lot of us in this gym, Ultimo Submission Grappling in Merced, a lot of us do use Progress rash guards, shorts. A lot of us have Progress gis. It's just our go-to brand here, and we recommend it to all our new white belts. Sponsor? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.